Let's go hit up the Hierophant then. Help, I've been kicked. What's up? Here for a hero font for coffee, daddy. Time for some rehabilitation. Change your mind. Do, 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 do. do I need to register? No. Nope. These are the paths you have walked. I'm so glad we're starting to get to a bunch of rank tens because ah oh, dang it. Personas. Because soon we'll uh, not have to worry is about having as many personas on us. Uh, I do not need this temperance. Can I get a? I can't get a hero font off of it though. Go to fuse by result. Let us begin the search. Any hero fonts available, preferably one that says new that I can fuse. None that are going to be new, it looks like. Uh. I don't need death anymore. I bought that by mistake. So let's do this. Make this dumb black ooze thing. If rare antibody is fine. Take that for coverage. Fuse. Now I'm sad I just finished Hacker's Memory. Oh, it's so sad. I feel you. Alright, we lost our hanged man doing that, didn't we? That's fine for now. Just give me uh, Barrett. We'll worry about getting another hanged man next time we hang out with the Y. Fork this over. Thank you. Alright, now we good. Now we good. I want to go back. Let's get out of here. Let's go rank up my boy Coffee Daddy. Can we have some tycoon gameplay? I didn't do very much Tycoon in Part 200, even though I said I would, didn't I? I probably will do some Tycoon today. Dude, I can't wait for Digimon Survive. I, I, it, like, just needs to happen already. I'm so tired of waiting. What's up? Let's do this. This time I'm ready. Because I have Barreth. What are you going to do? Will you help the Chief out? Help him out. All right. Then. Well, I guess there's no point in worrying. Help me clean up. Let's do it. Futaba, what's wrong? It's not like you come. It's not like you to come here this late. <laughs> Look, Sojiro, Uncle's bank info, transaction history, credit details. I've got tons of dirt on him. How'd you get your hands on this stuff? Hacking, of course. Uncle's in loads of debt. He'll never want to suit against us now that we have all this data. <sighs> this is a criminal offense, you idiot. There's no way we'd be able to use this stuff in court. But. Jeez. I've known all along how badly in debt he is. He's not going to try and take custody back, so don't go doing stupid crap like that, okay? But Sojiro, I only did it because of all that stuff he said to you. About that, I've been thinking. When push came to shove, I wasn't there to help you. So, you know, maybe there's somewhere better for you out there. Somewhere better? Am I not supposed to be here? There is nowhere better in this world than by Coffee Daddy's side. I'm just saying. Am I just in the way? No, that's not it. You don't want me either, Sojiro? That's not what I meant. I just think it might be better for your own sake. Fine. I still have Akira and Mona and all the others. You can just stay here and play with your stupid coffee beans. Did she just run to cry in my room? She likes you guys way more than she likes me. Well, then I hate to be the one to say it, but Futaba is stupid. Makes sense, though. You're the ones who saved her, after all. Where did I go wrong? I really did try to care for Futaba. Look where that got me, though. I told myself she was the reason I kept making Wakaba's curry here. But deep down, I think that was just an excuse to stay distant. At the end of the day, the coffee and the curry people love so much are both just excuses. They are still delicious. I mean, I don't like to go against Coffee Daddy, but he might be right. But he has to recognize that. Yeah, I mean, I spent more time in this cafe than I ever did trying to talk to Futaba. I'm going to go out for a smoke, try to cool off a bit. Sorry to lay this on you. Can you go after Futaba for me? Futaba, you get down here right now and tell Coffee Daddy he is the greatest like you should. 
Akira. You wanna talk? Yeah. Thanks. I should get music notes with Futaba for that. You know, Mom used to talk about Sojuro tons when I was little. How good he was at making curry, how interesting he was to talk to. I remember everything. I even remembered how she smiled when she talked about him. Mom really likes Sojuro. I said some real mean stuff tonight. It's not his fault Mom's incident happened. It's not his fault I shut myself away from the world. And because of me, Sojuro lost a crap ton of money. I just thought I'd be able to stay here with him if my hacking worked. They are an awkward duo. You should tell them that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Futaba, uh, can I come in? Uh-huh. Sojuro, I... Look, I'm sorry about what I j said just now. And well, if it's okay with you, I want you to stay here forever. All right, but like forever though? Like what would she? What if, what if she's like 25 and gets married or something? Then again, it's more likely for Yusuke to move in with Futaba than vice versa now that I think about it. Forever. I know it might be more fun living with people your age like Akira, but I'll do my darndest to see things from your perspective. So, will you stay with me? Ha. Huh. <laughs> Is that supposed to be some kind of proposal? <laughs> hey, quit your laughing. The FBI might be listening. You're as exhausting as ever. Hey, Sojuro. I know I've caused you a lot of trouble, but I really do want to be here. So, let's keep living together. Futaba. Sorry for not saying that sooner. Oh, and thanks for taking in someone as horrible as me. Are you sure I'm good enough? I wouldn't want anyone else. <laughs> no hesitation. Don't come complaining to me if you regret it. Actually, I'm not going to let you regret it. If you ever need help, just tell me. I might not be graceful, but I'll be there to protect you. And you can stay with me for as long as you'd like. Forever, if you want. Uh-huh, I will. Forever. <laughs> Can't wait to keep sort of living with you too, Akira. Yeah, it's almost time for the live stream. The director's going to be on this week. I'm out of here. Bye. I was such a fool. My whole life, I've taken the easy way out to avoid these kinds of conflicts. I didn't stand up for Wakaba when I knew something was off, and I didn't stand up for you either. Instead, I went on and on about how you can't fight back against the laws of our society. How you should just accept the hand you're dealt in life. But those were mere excuses I made to keep myself in line. They gave me the easy way out I wanted so badly. Maybe instead of all that coffee crap, I should have been teaching you not to make the same mistakes I did. There I go, ranting again. But I feel like I managed to put a lot behind me today. Thanks. Thanks for making me realize what's really important in life. Rank up. Three right. more ranks to go. I'm going home. All right, I better head home too. Don't stay up too late, okay? I don't want you oversleeping. Uh, thanks for the- I love that they give you three kindness on the rank that you have to have max kindness to do. Like, what were the developers thinking when they did that? I don't understand. Hey, you good to talk? Talk to Futaba again after that? Don't know how it took me so long when we've been so close, but finally had an honest conversation with her. How do I say this? Feels like we're a real family now, not just pretending to be one. That's only because you helped us connect, so thanks for that. I feel like a real dad now. I am truly glad. Yeah, dang it, listen to me. Even I'm getting embarrassed. Maybe I should have made the dad comment, dang it. What am I doing? Calling some guy up and rambling about my feelings? Eh, but I guess you're not exactly an ordinary guy yourself. All right, I'm hanging up while I've still got some dignity. See you tomorrow. All right, now, dang it, we have to use Chihaya on Yusuke and Coffee Daddy now. I can only use Chihaya's ability so much. Wow. The dad comment was the best answer. Dang it. I should have done it. Too little, too late. What's that smell? Did you get a new perfume? It's nice. Yeah, it's a new fall fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious like the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to show my support while they're out there taking down an evil corporation. Show up support, huh? I should post a photo online of all the fan merch I've amassed. Maybe they'll be motivated by how passionate their fans are. 
No, not really. Kawakami, let me read during class, please. No, not a phone call with these nerds. Or texting, rather. Gotta say, it looks like everything's coming up roses now that Haru's on our side. Huh. But flowers die in autumn, do they not? And ignore. How about you, Haru? Have you gotten used to all this yet? Yes, thanks to all of you, even though we haven't gone into mementos or uh, the palace since joining each other. Just chatting like this is great. I never really had a chance to do such things until now. This isn't the time for me to be enjoying myself, though. Don't worry about it. Class is boring as crap anyways. You know I'm reading this, right? Here we go again. Haru, one's personal resolve paves new paths. It was the same circumstance for me. Regardless, about two weeks remain. We should stay on guard. Man, we're already down to two weeks on the deadline, huh? You know, chat mentioned it a couple of times over the last couple of streams. I think I'm starting to come around to the idea of Ryuji and Makoto being a, being a respectable pairing in this game. Oh my goodness. Everyone wants to know what I'm doing. Well, I could get Maruki up to rank 9, but honestly, I feel like we're safe on Maruki. We have all of October to get, like, two more ranks on him. So I think we're good for now. I'd rather rank up Makoto. Yeah, she's the only one available other than Maruki, too. I might be able to max out Makoto and Yusuke before we go to the palace. That would be, like, amazing if we could do that. Wait a minute, go use Chihaya first. And even though I do need to put some points on Copy Daddy, I am definitely going to keep using Chihaya on Yusuke until Yusuke is ready to max out. Oh. Getting him to rank 10 is... Right now, getting Yusuke ranked 10, because that means I don't have to hold an Emperor all the time either. That's number one importance, is do? maxing him. Yeah, hit me up with uh, Yusuke Kitagawa. Read that fortune. Bow, 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 bow. Thank you, Chihaya. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's go hang out with Makoto. Seems like Makoto hasn't gone home yet. Want to go see her? Yep. Let's do this. Hey. Kira Kun, have you decided on our plans for today? Yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> now? I guess if that's really what you want to do. Is this a part of your grand strategy? That is exactly correct. I see. Aiko said she had a favor to ask, but I've been pushing it off. Do you think you can maybe come see me with her? Or see her with me? Words. Is this rank 8 on Makoto? We've only got two more after this. She's waiting over a Big Bang Burger. Let's go. Is something the matter? So, what did you want to talk about? Well, uh, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. Huh? What? Yo, owl mode is activated. It's nothing real major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though. Honest, please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Uh-huh. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it, but he needs help. How He's lying to you, Eiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Tsukasa's not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know? He says it because I'm special. So he calls you his special princess. What do you think, Akira-kun? I think he probably says that to all his girls. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. <sighs> but did you ask anyone in his club about the broken bottle? Well, uh, no. He told me not to talk to him about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to college. Aiko... <laughs> You can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally would understand what it's like. You're just going to go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? 
at the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? What, working a, a waitress job is more exciting than working an office job? I mean, maybe, depending on who you are, but I wouldn't put one very high above the other. I... I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from him as you can. So you're not going to help me? Just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. This girl is out of her mind. Eiko, wait! I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Tsukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone, and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Eiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Tsukasa's just so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. You... Is there a character in this world that doesn't have... Or, like, less than... Is there, is there a character in this world with more than four brain cells? Is how I wanted to word that. Is there? Other than Coffee Daddy? You know what? It all makes sense. Coffee Daddy is perfect because he has accumulated like 98% of the brain cells in the universe. So Coffee Daddy has like 98% of all the brain cells. The other 2% of brain cells in the known galaxy have to be spread out to every other character in Persona 5. That's why they're all so dumb. You know what? Yusuke does have five brain cells. I'll give him that. He's definitely like the smartest of all of them. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the heck, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. You have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend. You seriously still want more? Tsukasa is all I have. You can't take him from me. Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right. Just keep your hands off. I'd never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. Makoto stealing away a guy. That's hilarious. <sighs> Tsukasa is all she has? You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. How many brain cells does Akira have? You see, so listen. Coffee Daddy has 98% of the brain cells. Then the other 2% are spread out among all the characters in the universe. The highest number after Coffee Daddy is probably like... Broshita has like... He's definitely over 10. Broshita has over 10 brain cells. Without a doubt. In fact, Broshita, Broshita and Awai, they both have a normal amount of brain cells. Probably like... so. Coffee Daddy has 98%. Then 1% is split between Awai and Broshita. So they both have like 0.5, and that's like the average amount. Like 0.5% of brain cells in the universe, that means you're smarter than the average human being. So that's what that's what Coffee Daddy or that's what uh, Broshita and Awai have, right? So then after that, every other character has like less than 10. Maruki has 10. Maruki has 10 brain cells, straight up. He's got, like, the maximum you can have without being, like, one of the, the smartest men alive. So then, I don't remember where I was going with this. Yusuke has five because he's the smartest of the Phantom Thieves, without a doubt. But, oh, I know where I was going with this. Akira? Akira is outside of the, like... So you got, like, the 100% brain cells, right? 98% is Coffee Daddy, 0.5 is a Y, 0.5 is Broshida, etc. Outside of that 100% is outside of the Persona 5 universe. Akira is outside of that batch of, of brain cells because, A, by Coffee Daddy's grace, he allows him to be, and, B, because Akira has my brain cells because I control Akira. And my brain cells aren't in the Persona 5 brain cell batch, basically. That's my new headcanon for this game. You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Actually, Eiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Sukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're going to help, right? Absolutely. Even though I think the third option Thank was the correct one much. for me. Ah, oh, she's ready for rank 9. Let's go. Thank you. It's reassuring to hear you say that. Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. But I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that, just like you did for me. Let's go. My dad says anyone who watches SpongeBob lost brain cells. Your dad is wrong, and he just likes to hate on people that like things. So, <laughs> I disagree heavily. All right. 
maybe if they watch like new age SpongeBob, but like the first like six seasons of SpongeBob were good. That was my jam back in the day. I would gladly, if someone sat me down in a room in front of a TV and said, we're going to force you to rewatch the first four seasons of SpongeBob SquarePants, I'd be like, it's a little annoying because it's going to cut into my streaming time, but I mean, I'm not going to be upset about it. I'll watch. I know she wants me to just stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. Hmm. What is the right way to live? At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. We in this. I'll see you later. Thank you again for today. I'll see you later.